All right, guys. Uh, so this is Jason with FPV Model, and what we have here is we have uh, the two new gimbals by Feiyue Tech, uh, the three-axis and the two-axis. One is called the 3D, the other one is called the 2D. I'm sure you can uh, figure out which one is which. Two for two axis and three for three axis. So let's go ahead and open up the box and take a look and see what we got inside. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the uh, three axis mini 3D gimbal here and take a look at it, and see what's inside the box. So, opening the box, we're going to have a warranty card and the instruction manual. So, instruction manual comes both in English and Chinese. I've already read over this manual. Uh, pretty clear and self-explanatory so you don't have to worry about any uh, any bad translation issues uh, messing with you and uh, making it more difficult to put together. Uh, not only to put together but this thing uh, comes pretty much uh, pre-assembled. So uh, what you have here is you actually have the gimbal itself. Uh, it's got a little arrow showing that uh, this this direction is going to face forward. Now whenever it comes out of the box you want to make sure that the uh, that the connectors are connected properly. I was reading on the internet uh, one of the posts on RC group some guy thought his was broken and then he later on found out that the connector inside uh, was not pressed in all the way. So he went ahead and pressed it in all the way and uh, said he didn't have any problems with it after that. So let's go ahead and open up these other two boxes and see what's inside. So we got the uh, packaging for the cables. Uh, we have your little uh, rail mounts for mounting the gimbal. And there's also uh, a top plate. And you got your little damper balls here. So that's what's inside one package. And you also have another small box that comes along here. So we'll go ahead and open this up. And we have the mount for the camera. And this is going to uh, keep the GoPro attached to the gimbal. Uh, we have your video output, uh, video output cable. Oh, one thing to keep in mind whenever I was looking at this earlier, really, uh, really had me stumped. Let me see if I can find it now. Yeah, here. There is a, uh, there's a small sticker on the back here. And it's not very clear in the instruction manual. So whenever you want to uh, set this up, you want to take this sticker off. And this is where your video cable is going to plug into the gimbal. So let's go ahead and uh, get it set up. And then we'll give you a look at, uh, a look at how it works and some of the features of it. All right, guys, one thing to keep in mind is this is a uh, plug-and-play gimbal, so you're not going to enter into a way and uh, change these settings and try to work with the balance. Uh, it comes factory balanced, and the gimbal is actually made in a way that once you mount your, uh, mount your GoPro to it, uh, that takes care of the balancing. But you can do, uh, you can do firmware, uh, firmware updates on it. So it also comes with a USB connector, so you can connect your gimbal but let's go ahead and move on to the fun part, and that is mounting the uh, GoPro to the gimbal. Two things to keep in mind. One is on the back of the gimbal, there is a little uh, port for the GoPro video output. Uh, this cable will plug into here, and then this will plug into your GoPro. Uh, whenever you get it, it comes with a sticker on it. And it is very difficult to see. Uh, it took me quite a while to figure that out, and it's really not mentioned clearly in the manual. So if you're watching this, keep a uh, keep an eye out for that, and might be able to save you some time. Anyways, when you go to mount the uh, when you go to mount the GoPro, uh, make sure that the motor here is on the left hand side. Uh, if you have the motor in the opposite direction, it's going to mess with the balance. And it's also going to block the uh, block the video port. So you want to make sure the motor is not on the right hand side. 
want to make sure you've got it positioned so it's on the left hand side and what that will do is that will leave your video port open for your GoPro okay so we're gonna just go ahead and put it together real quick and then we'll show you some of the features with it All right, now that we've got those ridiculously long thumb screws threaded through, let's go ahead and uh, pull out the cable. So you've got a uh, you've got a series of cables here. One is to control the gimbal mode, uh, such as follow mode or just a directional heading. Uh, there's three different modes for uh, three different modes for this gimbal. We'll get into that in a moment. Uh, you also have your video output line, you have your uh, yaw and pitch control lines, and you have your power line. So that's just going to plug right into here. And now I'm not going to bother with mounting the top plate. Uh, that's all pretty self-explanatory. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, connect the batteries up and the transmitter and show you how it works. Alright guys, so uh, just to give you a quick look at the two axis versus the uh, three axis gimbal. Uh, the three axis gimbal is going to have a third motor on it for the yaw. And as you can see here, if you did decide you were wanting to use a two axis for a plane, uh, you could go ahead and uh, get the two axis compared to the three axis and it's going to give you a little bit of a uh, little bit of a height difference on there. So this one's actually much shorter than this three axis one. Alright guys, so uh, once you connect the receiver and uh, apply the power, it's just going to start up and it will level itself out. So make sure you have it either um, attached to something and hanging freely or just uh, hold it up before you, uh, before you connect the power. So once you do so, uh, you can see that you can control the yaw. Uh, you can also control the, control the pitch from uh, your radio here. Now it's got a uh, three. It's got three separate modes on it. Uh, one is where you can control the yaw and control the pitch. Another one is your direction mode, which is just going to follow the general direction you have, and it will also follow pitch. As you can see, when I roll it back, the camera faces up. Uh, pull it forward and face it down, the camera will start uh, rolling itself downwards. And then you have the third mode, which is going to follow your heading, and you can also control the pitch via the, uh, via the radio here. So uh, that's it. Overall, it's fairly small, and it's pretty reasonable in size, and uh, at about $166. Uh, it's really a hard gimbal to beat because this one also has the uh, audio output uh, that connects to your GoPro, so it's no no longer a guessing game. Whereas uh, before, uh, a lot of the other a lot of the other gimbals actually didn't come with an audio feed out. You had to wire in something, and that could throw off your balance. But this one's included. So uh, that's it. That's just a um, that's just a quick look at the new mini 3D gimbal by Feiyue. So there you go. Thank you for watching.